Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, let's just unpause it and see what's going on. Need a research project. Yeah, that's going to have to wait just a smidge. Just a little bit. So that, I can choose which graph we could, that's what that button does. I can choose which graphic to uh, choose because a lot of items with the mods I've got have various styles that you can choose from. Or you can just click on, click on that and it rotates through. I probably don't need both of those, but whatever. I have a feeling that my mod list most likely has several redundant things in it that I may or may not be able to do anything about. So I'm, I'm surprised that this says it's only been going for 16 minutes. I'm going to guess that that doesn't count while I have things paused. The time doesn't advance. Human leather door. I'm say, does it have any beauty? <laughs> I, I, I want that. I'm going to take and install that at some point. I just, I need a place for it. Before I just haphazardly throw it up. Hey, mixed lumber. All that next. Is there more of that anywhere? I'm not entirely sure why some animals, it seems like, get highlighted. Whenever I zoom out, maybe all animals do? Shit, I don't know. Okay, it feels like some do, some don't. You know what? I'm tired. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I've been up all day. I'm allowed to not really understand what's going on. That makes it more interesting. So this is an anima tree. Uh, again, I have no idea what anima trees actually do. I know that you don't want anything human-made around them or they lose power. I think they unlock uh, magical abilities or some type of magic ability skill tree for people who can commune with them. Get the rest of that lumber. Where are you going? Gathering steel. I want to do one more check here. Where are you going? So one more check. Is there any other loose steel laying around? No. Now there are a bunch of spaceship parts scattered around that I'm gonna have to do something with. Like, let's get rid of that one as soon as I can. Let's see this tree all these trees can die get that out of here I want the space around my building I was gonna say to be clear of trees but thinking about it since this whole thing is made of wood I should probably just even clear uh, clear all of the plants around it so if a lightning strike happens it doesn't spread basically make a fire break a fire line around my building at some point i slowly start giving myself more and more projects in my head until eventually i convince myself to do one of them Even if it takes a while. Okay. They've about got all that done. Question is now, what else? Primitive watchtower. What else do I want to throw together? Pollution pump. I definitely need to focus on hygiene. Before anything else, hygiene. So. Toilets, baths. I need... Access as groundwater, which can be pumped by water pumps. The presence of sewage or other pollution will reduce water quality and can cause contamination. Uh, I think I definitely need... I mean, we've got this, but I need real hygiene. No, this will work for now. 
talking myself out of it already. I don't need running plumbing water just yet. I don't have enough people to worry about it. Temperature. Temperature might be one of the next things to look at. I'm only going to have limited power until I am capable of researching batteries. In fact... News of peace. After several diplomatic overtures, Pill Organization in Northeast Aurora have decided to cease all hostilities. You know what? Good for them. Good for them. So, I want to see something. What do we have here? I do have a mod. Yeah, that is for advancing. Oh my god, I can't even read the fucking tabs up here. Food condiments. There's going to be so much stuff. Made uniform. Maybe someday mushroom cultivation. I just need batteries. Heating, plumbing. I could make saunas, septic tanks, swimming pools, sewage sludge, com sludge composting, passive coolers. This is where I would find it, I think. Uh, things have changed. There we go. Battery. I say things have changed because I do have. At least it should. I have a research mod on. That I have never used before. So. It makes researching more complicated than just clicking on a button nestled in a tree of other things to research. Um. Obviously, you have to do research still, but there's other things you have to do. More overall progress needed. I could reverse engineer items if I found some and brought them back. I get production experience, I guess, for crafting pretty much anything. I can study material. See, I don't know what any of this does, but I'm kind of excited. Studies of viability of possible raw materials used in construction or production. People are talking up there. Gathering experience from products with an already known production process. Reverse engineering of existing stuff. Okay. I don't have anyone set up to research right now. Let's make Slacks. You're the smartest of us. So go do that. When you have absolutely nothing else to do, which will probably be a while, you can go do that. Now, is there anything I can craft that I need to make lumber by hand? Various kinds of processed lumber all bundled together. Mostly useful for building long-lasting, simple structures and furniture. For when you care more about function than form. The only thing I can guess this is useful for... Like, why would you want to turn logs into lumber? Because logs basically already act as lumber in this game. You don't need to craft them into anything else to use them. Maybe it just solidifies them as one type of wood so it's all the same color. Instead of having 12 dozen different colors of lumber in your fort. Place an advert. An advertisement is put up. Now to wait for a courier to pick it up. Okay, sure. A notice board. Put notices on it. Spread the news colony and elsewhere maybe that'll get us some colonists to show up uh, and i think we're actually done no somebody needs to deconstruct that emmy not assigned to constructing okay all of you can construct i need to focus on this don't worry about entertaining don't worry about wardening um everyone should be a firefighter everyone should be a patient everyone should be a doctor in fact let me see. Um, everyone in my colony can self-tend. Now, they can't do surgery on themselves. They're not going to be doing a heart or lung or brain replacement on themselves. But if they get beat up, they can definitely tend to their own wounds and patch themselves. It is, it is limited just a little bit. Uh, magic... Perform arcane and magic-dependent tasks. This colonist is not able to do any work of this type because of their health condition. 
Okay, so Slacks, you can't do it either because of your health condition. I'm going to say, I think you have to have a certain trait or genotype, maybe it's called, in biotech in order to use magic at all. Handling, those two can handle. Cooking, that's fine. Hunting, I don't want anyone to be set up to hunt right now. Everyone's going to have to grow. I thought I heard something getting munched on somewhere. Like we were being attacked and I was worried. While I'm running my mouth and looking at this, I'm not paying attention to anything they're doing. Uh, mining, you two can mine. Quarry, I'm not going to be worrying about quarrying. Plant cutting, everyone. That's important. Smithing, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be doing tailoring. Uh, nobody's training. Nobody's doing art. Nobody, you two can craft. Recon, never seen that one. Do sentry job in the colony, make reconnaissance of the surrounding area, and detect incoming enemy. That's neat. Uh, no nuclear for now. Uh, no rim feller stuff. I've barely dipped my toe in the rim feller technology, but maybe I'll mess around with that too. I don't know what we're going to do in this playlist. Depends how long it lasts. Everyone can haul. Everyone can clean. Um, you can also research because you've got a skill of two is better than nothing so that'll have to work got that set up everyone this is one of the hardest decisions i have is deciding what i want people to do do i want them to attack enemies that come after them or do i want them to run away if you set them to run away and the enemy is quicker, they'll just get chased down and eaten anyways. I'm going to say, why aren't you guys completing this? I want the power conduit hooked up, please. Kiko. No health conditions. We don't take kindly featuring Yi Nantiro. Okay, let's fast forward time a little bit here. Uh, there may come a point in this series too where I do uh, time advancement. Basically, if nothing's going to happen for a while, I'm just going to pause the recording. And then a day or a couple hours in game might pass. Or hell, even a whole week or month if, if absolutely nothing is going on. Uh, I'm not going to record absolutely everything. But that time will come later on. For now, we still have a ton of things to do. Uh, need defenses? Yeah, I know. I'm trying, okay? Pirate raids will start soon. Like sandbags or traps. Look, all I can really do is granite jersey barriers for now. Um, I don't think I have. Yeah, I've got no turrets. Research. I don't want to spend a bunch of time setting up traps because I'm not even entirely sure well where they'll come from. I could put traps through some of the choke points. Like along the walls is always incredibly useful because when the enemy comes through, they tend to hug the walls a little bit. I could put traps there. I could put traps around this corner. But... I don't think I'm going to just yet. A lot of compacted still. Could bring this. That would make some good cover. Uninstall this so it can be moved, sold, or installed, installed somewhere else. Could I like could I block this path with it? I could. So if I put it there, the enemy could use it for cover. Could put it there. A war merchant has arrived. I don't really have a trading depot. Or uh, not a trading depot. See, I told you, I've got, I've got a dwarf fortress on my mind. Where is... I believe this is a mod as well. Outpost delivery spot. Designates a spot for items from outpost to be delivered to. That is not it. 
trading spot designates a spot where traders will congregate you know what i want you guys to congregate congregate in front of my base here oh nice for a second i thought that they were going to be close enough to the bugs up here to do something about them but i guess not do, do, do speed things up a little bit uh any of you have a quest yep i think it's them uh, when they get a bit closer i will send who's my best negotiator i believe that falls under handle hey no i mean entertain maybe make friends entertain guests crap I feel like I'm going cross-eyed looking at, at this list of skills at this point. I know there's one that is specifically... for trading, I think. Mm, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be more awake for this. Uh, you know what, you guys... Diplomats, entertain guests and build friendships. You're less likely to fuck this up. So... Go trade with Aubun. Uh, this little sim symbol here means that they can use magic. Druid. Attuned with the forces of nature. Okay. So what did they bring? They brought... Caprosuchus, such as succus, which I'm not going to be able to afford. I mean, I guess I could afford two, but I don't want to feed the damn things. The only thing I've got to trade is package survival mills, components, and synth thread pants that I, I'll trade those. Even if I just get silver from them, it'll be worth it. I've got a really expensive elephant bow. A bow shaped from elephant tusks. Nice. Rags. I can make my own rags, thank you very much. I don't think I'll buy anything yet. I'll get a little bit of silver from them. Might be useful if I ever get this thing going. Broken down. And I don't think I can fix that. Nope. Uh... I've got a mod that makes it so I cannot repair things if I don't know how to build them. What is this? An ancient container? Excuse me. Install that right there. Still waiting on a courier. The pit is only 17% full. No guests may use our toilet, okay? You can, you can wash yourself in our dirty, stinky granite tubs in front of everyone. But you may not soil the holy ground here. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna give an order here. Let's see. Uh, who's the best? Slacks? No more. I actually do want him to go... Knock out some research real quick. Go do that. And the rest of you... I want... All of this shit cut down. I want basically this side cleared. I need these trees cleared. Brick, I probably should have made that. I'll just force them to do it. I want the trees on this side of the road cleared off so that people can't get super close to ambush me. Using trees to hide. And I... You, you can't have too much wood. Uh, carrot. Cut this tree down first, please. I say you should be able to cut this down. It'll clear out... Actually, I'll have to cut that one... 
anything bigger than a bush in this zone will stop your wind turbine from being able to function which is kind of a pain but can attack the I could attack the merchants if I was absolutely suicidal ceiling light absolutely no power blocked by Cornish tree hey I didn't tell you to haul stuff and be responsible I just want nope no eating either you are quite hungry but you'll be fine socialized with comrade initial optimism only 5.6 days left of that optim optimism before it starts to drop off I basically have until then to get them comfortable <laughs> before things start going bad blocked by poplar tree I'm not gonna let them eat yet either you can eat when the job is done you know what are you doing over there I think it's gonna eat you a thrin axodon a small carnivorous synapsid roughly similar in size to foxes with diets that typically consist of insects and small herbivores their tendency to burrow helped them survive through one of the mass extinction events back on earth okay how the frick did it end up here you see rimworld is actually purgatory it's some type of hell where all life on earth has a chance to be filtered through it at one point or another it's a merging of the timelines butchering not gonna butcher anything uh, slack so are you doing any research by chance we've got just a little bit need batteries yeah can't work on the bench because it's being repaired that's valid that's fair see this uh, ancient container provide a little bit of protection from gunfire while they're playing horseshoes slacks can rub their tail up against it apparently without industry fur gets itchy is all I'm gonna say we need soap and conditioner in this place do they have facial animation before biotech came out uh, I had facial animation pretty much for all of the races functioning but that was shattered I don't think they do several races have animated faces that show their emotions and what they're thinking and some don't I believe that it's functional on the basic pawns but hell maybe I'm wrong <laughs> it's almost bedtime for me so far things are going honestly better than I expected they would go granted it's only been about an hour of playtime roughly 43 minutes now of unpaused playtime but no wild animals have attacked us the bugs have kept to themselves none of our colonists are I'm not really sure how to phrase it they're not mentally vulnerable to the harsh realities of the frontier I've had some starts with colonists where it took literally less than a day and a half for them to lose their shit I'm really curious what this is gonna do I'm not sure if this board will bring me more quests or if it just has a chance to bring me more colonists or if it's part of the system that allows me to have uh, tenants which is basically people who will rent rooms that I set up and install so if I wanted to run a tavern or an inn 
some type of roadside motel, I absolutely could. Uh, I would just have to set up enough bedrooms for the people who want to come rent out rooms. And then they, they rent it out and pay you in silver or, or gold, I believe. Again, I never really got to try it out because it, I couldn't place this notice board. But everything appears to be functioning so far. Need defenses, working on it, cargo pods. It's a long ways away. It better be good, what is it? Lizard skin urine Yanmu. Yanmu. So. A costume for the child. Well, we don't have any children. I have no idea what a, a Yanmu is, though I'm guessing it's some type of dress. It's only worth 85. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it to rot. Quite frankly, I don't think it's worth the time investment to send someone over there because it would probably take half of an in-game day to get there and back. You can see, I'll, I'll point out various mods as they come to my attention, but you can see they've worn down the ground to dirt. It is actually packed dirt. Uh, it's a desire path. Paths that colonists, animals, paths that any creature walk regularly uh, will slowly turn into a packed, packed dirt road path, which is kind of neat. I find desire paths in, in real life to be incredibly interesting. You can build a sidewalk for people. It doesn't mean they're going to use it. Life uh, finds a way. I believe that this is an unavoidable glitch from... Well, probably avoidable. And hell, if anybody knows how to avoid it, let me know. But I believe it's from Yayo's animation mod. It adds various animations for sleeping, eating, standing around and partying, a whole bunch of other things. But it has a tendency to break uh, layers, I guess, whenever they're sleeping. Like, if they're sleeping in a bed, they won't be under the covers. They'll be tossing and turning on top of them. It doesn't bother me, but it's kind of funny. Let's see, do I need to reconnect you? Yep. Reconnect you. You're broken. I should just honestly deconstruct the comms console for now and get the parts from it. It would probably be a better use of my time. Power needed. Better not be drawing any power since you're non-functional. I don't particularly trust it. Wooden woodworking table. So I can make mixed lumber. Which is about all I can do. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do that forever. Probably don't have anybody who will actually be able to do it. But maybe I'll get lucky. It's now the 4th of April, May. 56 degrees Fahrenheit this lovely morning. Uh, our first trade caravan has left rather uneventfully. They didn't knock out the bugs like I had hoped. But they didn't start any shit with us either, which is nice. Mash the logger. A courier has arrived. She'll deliver rent and perhaps other things too. Do try to keep her alive. Okay, she's got a revolver musket. She's not actually part of the colony. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn that advert off because in order to keep her happy and to keep her here with us i believe uh i'm gonna have to set up a room for her she's a rival to everyone why oh we're a different xenotype okay <laughs> uncovered groin They're very hateful. Torso, death acidifier. So when they die, they explode into a puddle of acid. That's great. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, just end the video here. Whenever we come back, we're going to try and get a room set up for our first tenant. 
uh, hopefully start getting some rent money from them. I'm going to finish clearing out all of this stuff, which is probably going to take longer than it should. I mean, this is... Uh, maybe I'll cancel some of this and just finish this thought later. But um, start getting a few more things set up, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm too tired to make plans. We'll wing it like I usually do, I guess. Until next time, folks.